Everybody, we're about to go do this hike. Actually, we can't see it because the tree in the way. We have the right. vis visitor center at El Morro you're National tell Monument. Tell them our secret. So we're gonna take you on this wonderful hike with us. You're gonna see some beautiful stuff, and we're gonna turn it off once we get in the visitor visitor center. All but right. once we get back to the hike, we are back on. Let's hike. Here we are walking the paved proportion of the trail to El Morro National Monument, which is up between those trees. We get you a you closer look it. when we get closer. It's a monolithic rock from history. And of course, one of our favorite places. <laughs> oh, it's this way. I thought you had it pointing the other way. You gave us a guide. This is just on loan. I got to bring you back to the visitor center when we're done. There's the rock there. The direction we're headed is a two hour hike, but only two miles. And because we got to go uphill, because we have to go uphill and like we slowing down now. Yes. Takes approximately two, maybe two and a half hours to get through the hike at a nice pace. And remember, we are at elevation, so sometimes we're gonna be out of breath. But when we get a chance to get close, you're gonna see this pool that the traveler's been traveling and drinking out of forever. Hopefully it's not dried up. Right. <laughs> Look at this. We are right almost at the base of it. Okay. Taking a break already, yeah. Resting in the shade. <laughs> Let's continue on. What do you think the temperature is today? I oh, don't know. Well, I want to say about 82, maybe. 82? Yeah. It has a little breeze, but this could take your breath away. Got to be in good condition. And I mean take your breath away. Literally. <laughs> Even with the beauty of this rock. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> Rest stop number two. That was breeding the hard. oasis. Ooh, we got a storm coming over the horizon. Whoa. And that's where we are camping. Oh, man. It's the oasis where people stop. Of course, they got birds, rabbits. That's the oasis. It's actually right down there, okay? Yep. Right down there. But look at this. Head down to that. Yeah, we might turn around after that because it's getting hotter. And unfortunately, we may not make it all the way up the top because it's late in the evening. A thunderstorm coming through. You know, monsoon season. Thunderstorms come through every evening. Yes. And we had a beautiful one last night. Oh, these are the, what they call them? To tell you what, it, what type of plant is growing here. This is buckwheat. What is it? Buckwheat. I don't see no buckwheat doing it. That's what it's saying, you gotta look for it. must be right there down it. on the ground there. Where? Them little things are sprouting up. They just don't have the, the whole wheat. Yeah, this is right here. That's right there. Right here? That's the buckwheat. That's the buckwheat? That's the buckwheat. The cactus right there. I want to stay on the paved road. I want to stay on the paved road. All right. Woo, Cloud breeze. Paved. That feel good. But look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Let's look wow. up. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo, this is cool now. We might make it all the way up. I feel good. <sighs> Wind blowing a little hard, but hey. Yes. Oh yeah, we might make it up now. <laughs> the sun has been Oh, covered. here's stop number four. We're back in the early 16, 14, 13, 17, 100, I don't know. Let me see. Where the travelers came by and they would dip in this pool right here. Okay, let me turn the camera around so you can see it. And then it goes oh, all the way up. That's what they're talking about. 
when they say humans are not the only creatures to appreciate this rare echo? and precious resource. Woo! You see the, the birds making nests? Oh yeah, I see them over there. Right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go around the other side because I think we can get closer right here if I recollect. Yeah. Okay, from up there, we're going down here. But normally we could go all the way up. It's yeah. cool now because that storm probably gonna cover the <laughs> thing. We need to get back to our tent and probably buckle there down for the night. It's unlawful to mark or deface El Moro Rock. Rock. So people, when you come here, don't be destroying anything because you will go your butt to jail. Jail without the bail. <laughs> oh, there's another <laughs> beautiful view of it. And going up. Wow. I think they say it jets at the highest peak, 200 feet. Yep. And look at the birds coming from that thing now. They're still living in all the crap. They going in there? I don't think going anybody. I just saw something coming from this way. Ooh, a lot of beautiful flowers. Now this is what vacation is all about. Look at that. Look at this. Got the worms having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what number we just passed? That was number four. And this is beautifully repaved, but as you go around the back face of the rock, there's some carvings, some stairs that sellers, sellers way back when carved in with a group that was appointed by the president. Was it Theodore Roosevelt? The or? governor, yeah, the president. Oh, you said the governor? Theodore Roosevelt and um, Wilson. Oh, Woodrow Wilson? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna see some petroglyphs as we come around here. Well, not and quite this yet. This is number five. Most of it looks like it's gone. Yeah. I don't see anything. Okay, according oh, to this. I see this. some carvings right there. See, it's W89. We just gotta get the camera That's stretched out there. No, it's probably not gonna catch Ms. it. Ms. A. F. Bailey inscription that stop number five. That's what you're looking at right there. Both men and women and men passed by El Moro, but very few women left their inscriptions. But not Miss Bailey. She wrote hers. Wow. What? Up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's dizzying. And they got a bird nest up there. Oh, I see it right under the thing. Yep. Hold this. Point and shoot with effect. They got some more petroglyphs over here. We coming up on six. There's the hand. Get that bitch. See if I catch it. If the camera don't flip over. Look at that. Right there. I see a year says 1890, I think. I see one say 1858. Oh, they don't have the year in this section. Let's go over so here. Let's move on to number seven. There we go. Up here. That's number eight coming up. Oh well, you number can't eight. see seven. Right here, babe. Is that Over here, number seven. Oh, okay, I see. Going up. Look at this crevice. In 1857. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Now that's what's up. <laughs> whoa, and water comes down there when it's doing the snow melt. Mm -hmm. Comes down through here. And feed these bad boys right here. What thing? Remember, number nine. nine. Gonna bypass this one. Many Spanish inscribers. Spanish, Spaniards. Spaniards. <laughs> oh, here got some closer Spanish. than we can actually get. Ten and eleven. Oh, that's the one that they was talking about on the film right here. On the twenty-fifth of the month of June of this year of seventeen oh nine, Ramon Garcia passed through the way. You know, they're trying to keep it restored. And this is number but 10. some idiots come and mess it up and put modern yeah, day carving on it so they have to redo it. This is beautiful. Where were we when we went to- This uh, is the last inscription. Where were we when we went so, to Petroglyph National Monument? The one actually was um, called Petroglyph. Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico? Yeah. 
My Might Bugs Bunny that took year. that left. Look at that. Look at that. This, people. This is Vacation 101. <laughs> okay. Because of that storm over there, we're gonna make it around the backside. We may not go up the stairs. Right. We gotta get back and buckle and down for the night. Twelve. This is where they where they're trying to keep it going, where they make it dark themselves. But they did more damage to the rock than good because it started falling apart. They tried to put some plaster and clay and right. everything else up there to preserve it. But nature doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. We try to fix it, but it I doesn't remember, work. Remember, we are on a national park tour, which includes monuments and memorials. So right. don't, do not hesitate to visit some of these monuments <laughs> and memorials. Oh, he just got something in his mouth. He see you. He can't hide. <laughs> Picked up yeah. a bug. He's going to feed his cherry. Okay, they even modernized, modernized it a lot. See the metal clampings up there, Okay, King? 14. Where they try to hold this rock together from crapping crap on people's yeah. head, I guess. And nice drainage system. So we can all enjoy it. They're trying. But okay. according to this weather here. Yeah, I'm kind of getting nervous with that. This is what happens with it. So we are on our bikes. And we got patches up. And I guess just the afternoon, normal, monsoon season rain that come through last night was a major one and we slept like two bears mm -hmm. snoring all right let's move on and start heading back she doesn't let's see what's around this her. corner unfortunately we're not gonna be hiking up today we got all our backpack and our gear with us right there right there back there <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot plenty of water electrolytes some bars to snack on yeah, so this telling us to go back this way is want to hit if we want to, to head the back now. Center. And if we want to continue on, we got another 1.5 miles, mm -hmm. which will be, like I say, about two hours. Here's some pictures of the guys trying to preserve the heritage. See, so they say preserving our heritage. And like they say, don't make that costly mistake of defacing this rock because it's a five year in prison, $100,000 fine or both. So if you have it like that. <laughs> you got time to spend five years and have $100,000 to just burn? Why does, they look like, why does the arch look like, it could be a St. Louis arch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we coming up on the part where we actually supposed to go to up the stairs. The storm, see, I don't know if the, camera will pick the storm up like talking about it. Okay, look what we're facing. This is why we had to get off of the El Moro National Monument. <laughs> All the thunder coming from my left. Fortunately, no rain yet. And this is what we was afraid of. Not doing a whole hike <laughs> and the rain never come. I mean, we don't want the rain to come, but you guys know what you mean. You know what I mean? That's our bikes covered up. And our campsite with patches. Hey. We put everything up. What you say, babe? Hey. <laughs> Can't get that screaming. Hey. Back there. Huh? It's just Mr. Lightning back there. We had to sh cut our sh hike short because it started thundering. They had a lightning storm coming in, and we didn't want our leaf patches out by herself. So now we had a rainy day schedule. We relaxing in the tent. Let me show you Rich. But yeah, but yeah. And there's Rich just chilling. And there's Patches. And listen to the thunder. It's brrrr. Not that bear just now. <laughs> that was rich. Listen. So, stay tuned. We'll be back though. We're still having fun. Just a day off the bikes, relaxing. <laughs>